Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some garage additions. So uh, I'm going to do some uh, 1 8 scale and maybe some other scale uh, diecast cars, as, as you've been noticing. We'll be doing them in lovely location of my garage where I keep my classic cars as well. So today's example we have here is um, obviously by Jada Toys, as you can see. It's uh, the Dub City Edition, which is celebrating the Camaro's 40th anniversary, so from 1967 to 2007. Um, this is the 2006 Chevy Camaro concept car. Um, so this obviously is a nice uh, silver colour. As you can see, it comes in this nice little box here. Um, the usual deal, it's got a, like a little um, base plate. It's attached to the base plate by some screws and everything like that. It's... Um, that's definitely a pretty pretty tough looking unit so what we'll do is um we'll get this out of the box and uh have a bit of a look so here we have it so this has got um this is attached to a base here that's got a, as you can see a little uh, plaque there with the details of the vehicle um it's attached to this base with uh four little screws which we've um undone and so this should come off nicely which it does We'll just move that base out of the way. And this is the beast. So as you can see, it is a really, really nice, nice rendition of the uh, 2000, or well, the Camaro concept car actually. This is uh, the release before the, um, the actual Camaro was released uh, to uh, buy from Chevrolet dealers. But, um, Doors do open nicely. See if you can have a little look in that inside detail there. We'll have a little zoom in for you. It's got some ni nice finish in there. Close that up. Same with the other side. It's got that door does open as well. It's got some really cool details inside with the doors and everything like that trunk for my american viewers or the boot for uh australian viewers um there's not really mu much in there at all to see it's pretty pretty empty we'll go to the important part which is the uh the heartbeat and we'll see what we can have a look in there so there you have it the nice stonking v8 in there I mean, overall, the rendition of the vehicle is not too bad. It's um, fairly basic. I mean, these these are not a hugely expensive. It's it's only like a, I think I grabbed this for around eighty dollars or something like that. So it's not your uh, premium expensive vehicle, as you can tell. I mean, it is you know just molded plastic. There's no, not a ton of different colours or, or wires, leads or anything like that. Um, but look. I reckon it's pretty pretty cool. Close that bonnet or hood. <laughs> but the overall paint finish, we'll have a little look on the paint finish. I think the paint finish is really nice. It's not too many too many blemishes on it. Nothing that I can really really see. I think the paint finish itself is is nice. The Juco is really nice. It's sort of a metallic silver colour, so you'll see all the, uh, under the lights, you'll see all the difference with, with the panel lines and everything like that. It'll look like different colours everywhere, but that's just the angling and the reflection of light. It's got a nice set of mags on there. You can see the uh, detail of the um, brakes in the background. And the wheels, all the wheels do, do spin and rotate. The, the um, underneath of the vehicle itself is pretty um, pretty basic. It's just a mold, molded base. Um, nothing, nothing too detailed. Uh, the wheels themselves have got a, a little bit of, little bit of tread, um, but they, they also feel a very hard plastic, so it's not a rubber feel or anything like that. Um, which you get with some um, more expensive high-end models. You get the rubber rubber tires, but this is more. I mean, it's not real soft rubber or anything like that, but it doesn't feel as hard as the other plastic components. But um, that said, it's not you know rubber like you can get some of your 
really expensive high-end uh, models that do have like all working suspension detailed underneath and rubber rubber tires and everything like that but um overall i think it's a you know pretty pretty cool unit nice bit of kit as i like to say and um yeah for you know and and once again i think this would you know sort of suit uh younger uh collectors as well because it's as a you know it's not a hugely detailed model um so you know not just your adult you know adult collectors it's uh i think it's a it's a good base for the uh you know startup collections as well similar to the uh the old bumblebee camaro that i did in another video um obviously this this is made by Jada Toys. But yeah. Alright, well, I'll just plonk it down here. But as you can see, it does it does roll nice and easy. <laughs> but what I'll do is I'll, you know, I try to keep them short and sweet. Sometimes I say that, sometimes I waffle on. But I'm tr trying to keep it uh, keep it short and sweet for you. But um, what I'll do is the usual, you know, the deal. I'll uh, take some stools of the vehicle and uh I'll chuck them up on after the conclusion of this video. So yeah, if you can give us a little bit of a like, that'll be cool. And uh, even subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll continue to put some more uh, diecast cars in this um, little little garage video environment that I'll, I'll I'll try and start doing the cars in now. So lovely location of my garage where I keep my classic cars as well. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for um, taking the time to check out the video and spending the time with me. Um, feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks again for uh, watching and you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks, this and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past. And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness, hilarious. You think you're worth my time, you're delirious, mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior, inferior. You know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last, and to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah. Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no 